So at this point, we have made some reptiles. We use the original to create a, an image that has a scale factor of 2 when I go from the original to the image. And we've made this original into an image that is, has a scale factor of 3. Is that correct so far, David? And then we said, or I didn't say, you said, that the scale factor going from this, this image to the original was 1 half, right? Yeah. And then you said that the scale factor going from this large image to the original was 1 third. So my first question to you is this. Is a scale factor directionally dependent? In other words, does the scale factor between two images depend on which is the original and which is the image? Or is it always the same no matter what? It depends, doesn't it? Okay, hold on a second. Hands up, looking at me. Hands up, looking at me. All right. I had to do that to make sure that you weren't playing on the computer. All right, so we said that scale factor is directionally dependent. So when we get went from one figure to the other figure, we had a scale factor of three, but when we went from the big figure to the small figure, we had a scale factor of one third. So the question is, the question is, what is the connection between this scale factor, this scale factor, and this scale factor? And is it the same connection you see between this scale factor and that scale factor? Eli? I love it when you preface by this is wrong and completely wrong. Well, the denominator is the number of going from the small one to the larger one, and then the one is on the top. Okay. That would be true. Um, Ryan? Uh, they're reciprocals. They are reciprocals, aren't they? So that means if you have the scale factor going one direction, to find the scale factor going the other direction, it is just the reciprocal. That will always be the case. And that is something that you should have picked up yesterday in uh, Investigation 2.3. But if you didn't, it's not the end of the world. Hey, Jack Scott, I got a, a big question for you already. Yeah. So how many times larger is the area of the image compared to the area of the original? So this has, this, so the area, the area is Four to, uh, is four times bigger, right? Yeah. All right. Uh, somebody else who's equally sarcastic. Cooper! So I just, what I is this? So first, I want to point out David's <laughs> negative comments are really bringing me down. But anyway, it's not going to let him. Yeah, you're not going to let him. You're, just gonna, yeah. you're a better man than that. I am. All right. So if I look at the original yeah. compared to the image, how many times larger is the area of the image compared to the original? Okay. Yes. Okay. It'd be the area would be nine times larger. Three times three. No. Oh, wait a second. We're gonna hold on to that three times three uh, stuff. Yeah. So you said the area was nine times bigger. Yep. And then you said, and then you said that the little kid should stop screaming at reset. No. And then you said because three times three is nine. So in other words, this side length, this side length is three times bigger. Yeah. This side length is three times bigger, oh, yeah. and three times three is nine. Yeah. So Tyler, who I know is not paying attention to me right now, what is the connection to how many times bigger the area is and the scale factor? So the um, relationship between how big the area is and the scale factor is... What's the, what's the connection between three and uh, nine and three? What's the connection between 2 and 4? If we, uh, what do we call timesing by itself? Uh, square variance. Squaring. So that means the area is always the square, uh, scale factor squared times bigger. Oh my goodness. Yeah. All right. Uh, that was an appropriate sound effect on the count of three. Let's do it one more time. One. Sorry. So I'm going to say it again, and then you give me that great sound effect. All right? All right. So that means, Tyler, 
that the area is the scale factor squared times bigger than the original. It's easy. All right, there we go. So here is the investigation for today. And because of the assembly, you don't have a ton of time. You will be making the shapes on your Chromebook, duplicating them, yeah, so and then putting them together. So, uh, you know what, we just did part of it, so don't erase it quite yet. Okay. All right. <coughs> so if you, I will wait for you to be quiet. I will wait for everyone to be quiet, and I will field questions after I say go to work, okay? So if you look on page 52, on page 52, you are to make reptiles that are a non-square rectangle. Have you already done that? Yeah. OK, so that one you've already done. You don't need to do again. You also need to use a, make a non-rectangular pal parallelogram and a trapezoid. Yeah. And a trapezoid. I would highly recommend that it is an isosceles trapezoid. That means that the two slanted sides are the same distance. Yeah, right. I would highly recommend that. And then you are going to figure out if these three, or well, we've already figured out one, uh, if the non-rectangular parallelogram and the trapezoid, are they reptiles or not? And show your sketches. Uh, in question B, you're going to look at your ske sketches and find the scale factor, for, uh, and then you're going to look at the perimeter and the area. And then you're going to extend the reptile pattern that you drew for A and make larger figures showing the scale factor and how it affects the area, perimeter, and side lengths. So this is a drawing investigation. You'll be drawing these on your Chromebook. So right now, we did everything that has to be done for this investigation for the non-square rectangle. You now need to do it for the non-rectangular parallelogram and the trapezoid. Questions, Molly. So, um, so if you just like sketch these shapes and stuff, are you just not going to sketch it because you're doing it online? You are doing it online. Are you, you able share to? Share this Google Doc with you? No. Share it with yourself and print it out on your own time. Okay. So do you want us to print it? I do want you to print it out, and I do want it to get in your folder, but that's your job, not mine. I don't know. Send it to yourself. Wait, yes, Molly. Okay. So, um, we'll get through this eventually. Chromebook.